Jubilant Stories, unearthing the power of together. So Joe, we've been um, here at the subscription rooms today. Tell us a little bit about some of the stories that we've heard. Yeah. Well, we had the story from, um, I've got them here, the pictures that were manifested from the stories, so that just helps me remember them. But uh, basically, um, there was a wheelchair user called Katie who came and she said that she'll never forget one of the best experiences of her life was um, a visit to the tall ships because they made them equally accessible. And then she she realised also that she can't, she's not allowed to drive a car because she has spasms, but in a ship you can steer because you've got the whole sea in this. <laughs> you're in control, it's all right, you've got leeway. So I thought it was a lovely story. So um, one of the artists then did a lovely picture of Katie's voyage with the ship and the whole positive feel of being when there I was that 18, day. And after I left yeah. school, um, I was lucky enough to um, be invited to take part in the Torship Challenge with four of my friends. It's an inclusive uh, tour ship that um, day to day running is all, all done with a team of um, disabled and able bodied volunteers. Um, I was lucky enough to take part in the last leg of the start tour ship race um, for Norway to Denmark. So we did everything from cleaning the, the ship to um, hoisting the sails and climbing the rigging and um, being in the space, and all those kinds of things. Um, and not only was this an amazing inclusive event, but I, I met a uh, gentleman on there who was at the time um, president of the Lions Group in um, Bermuda, rather, and he, he invited me and a carer to go over there and stay for the week, um, as he was so inspired by my attitude. And I actually performed an attitude in the speech when I, when I was 18. Um, and this, this brought my confidence going, and obviously it's a memory that's going to stay with me for the rest of my life. And I understand that because of that, that confidence you've built up, yes. you've gone on to improve your education yes. as well. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit um, about that? Obviously, um, well not obviously, but I, I didn't originate from Glasgow. I originated in Lincolnshire. But such, such experiences as, as the experience that I had on the tour ship, um, really, really encouraged me to become a more independent outgoing person um, and through that I was able to move, um, move to Gloucestershire on my own, um, away from my parents so completely independent and um, I, I have actually been able to complete my university um, and now in the first work carry on what skills and um, abilities that I've gained from doing my people. And what do you think, what's your biggest strength or the contribution that you think you can make to society or to communities? Uh, my, my biggest strength, I would, I would hope to think that um, I can perhaps change uh, perceptions of the capacity of, of disability. Um, not obviously, I realise that single-handedly I can't change that on a, a kind of global scale, but within the community, um, being involved with various volunteer sectors, I am. I just hope that I can, I can see things develop and grow within Gloucestershire, and just be able to say that, just to be able to say that I've been connected to that gives me a great sense of satisfaction. Bye.